In the previous video, we have implemented a basic animation. Now let's spice it up by creating a falling animation as well. So let's stop this and let's create a new C -sharp class here. Create C -sharp and let's call it fall tween. Okay, if you are familiar with my previous course on procedural map generation, this is pretty much the same. So let's open it up. Okay, let's delete everything from this uh, class and inside here we are going to implement a private vector3 destination a public load time to fall equals point 0.2 Okay, we need start method Okay Destination will be the current position, so transform dot position, and we are going to say game object transform dot position plus equals vector three dot up times let's say ten. So this will rise our game object ten units upwards, and we are going to call start coroutine drop. So let's implement it. Let's create public or maybe private i enumerator. Hold enter using system collections and drop. And what we will do here now inside this drop, we are going to say vector three position equals game object dot transform dot position so this position raised the to 10 units above we're going to say float current time equals 0 f next we are going to do game object transform position equals a vector 3 dot lerp and we are going to pass here the position and the destination and the current time, which is zero, divided by time to fall. Now time to fall, we have established is 0.2. Now we are going to add to current time plus equals time dot delta time. And we are going to yield return null. Okay, and we are going to do it while the current time is less or equal to time to fall. Now, at the end of this, we need to ensure that our game object is perfectly aligned with others. So, game object transform position equals destination. Okay, so we need to add this fault twin when we are instantiating a game object in our code. So let's go to our road helper script. Let's find space where we are instantiating the road. And what we need to do is call road add component fall twin. Okay, great. And basically what we need to do is do the same in our house or rather structure helper. So let's open it up. And let's find our method one prefab. And as I have previously mentioned, we are going to call new structure dot uh, add component fall tween. And that's it. So let's go back to Unity. Let's try playing. And we have this animation where everything falls down. And we can tweak it using the animation times. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So Thank you very much for watching it. I hope you have learned a lot. If you did, please consider supporting me through Patreon. Also, as I have said previously, you can join a Discord channel. The link for the Patreon and for the Discord is in the description. And also I have this Udemy tutorial on making a city builder game in Unity using best coding practices if you are interested.
there is also a link in the description. Thanks for watching and take care.